This is Neil Ratner of Rock Talk here on WDST Radio Woodstock with another episode of This Week in Rock with support from Transcendental and my friend, the amazing dentist and rock star Bruce Milner. Visit Transcendental, his stunning new office at 2 Maverick Road on the corner of Maverick Road and Route 375. Singer, songwriter, and actress Debbie Harry turned 79 this past week. After graduating from college, Debbie moved to New York City, where she worked various jobs, including as a Playboy bunny and as a waitress at Max's Kansas City. In 1973, Harry joined the band The Stilettos, who added guitarist Chris Stein a short time later. Debbie and Chris began a relationship, and a year later, the two left the band to form a new group. Originally called Angel and the Snake, the band changed its name to Blondie, after Harry bleached her hair blonde, and began attracting catcalls from truck drivers. And with her beauty, daring choice of clothing, and two-tone bleach blonde hair, Debbie quickly became a punk icon. Blondie's first two albums had strong elements of punk and new wave, and it wasn't until they released their third album, Parallel Lines, containing the hit single Heart of Glass, that the band broke through and became an international critical and commercial success. Over the next four years, the band had a string of hits, and as Debbie and Chris relate, they became known for their mix of musical styles, incorporating elements of many different genres. The sound, you know, the specific sound, the instrumentation, the Debbie's vocal qualities, all of that stuff, and a little bit the eclecticism, because it's so all over the place <clears throat> where the music goes, you know, that, that is a little bit, it's, it's odd, but there. The fact that it's so spread out makes it specific. I think when we started, the idea of, of crossover didn't really exist. And uh, I think that, you know, his thinking really, really made that happen. What did you cross from, to? Well, I mean, he combined elements of, of different kinds of music. You know, what we, we had, you know, rock. We had, you know, a bit of dance, a bit of dance hall, a bit of reggae, a um, bit of rap, you know, and we sort of, you know, brought it into our rock world. And, um, you know, it, it, today it's sort of normal. Yes. It's very normal. And it wasn't normal. Blondie's song Heart of Glass is a perfect example, bringing together elements of both punk and disco. According to Harry, when we did Heart of Glass, it wasn't too cool in our social set to play disco. But we did it because we wanted to be uncool. Chris Stein added, We didn't expect the original to be that big. We only did it as a novelty item to put more diversity into the album. Okay, let's listen. Blondie and Heart of Glass. <laughs> 